hello guys how are you doing i trust you guys are doing all right so wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day i'm still updating you guys on the outcome of the NSAS protest today is the 11th day in the month of november 2020 so the latest update i have for you is that the central bank of nigeria has accused the NSAS supporters or campaigners okay of terrorism at this point in time to be frank i give up i really really give up i will give you details of this but please don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe you have been hearing my voice without subscribing please it is free subscribe turn on your bell notification so you get updated whenever we have update to share with you guys so without wasting much of your time okay let me uh give you a brief uh, a brief um, let me give you a brief details of this story all right so the federal government has been able to freeze about 20 NSAS campaigners account after telling a federal high court in Abuja that the funds in the account might have been linked to terrorist activity can you imagine so this is according to a written address in support of a motion expert file by the central bank of nigeria the cbn had in second week of october frozen 20 account and thereafter approached the court to seek an expert order to freeze the account so in a supporting affidavit deposed by one and we see jacob on behalf of the cbn it was stated that the head of the economic intelligence unit of the governor's department CBN Joseph Omayuku had conducted an investigation on the account of the defendants and other individuals and entities held with certain banks in Nigeria and according to the affidavit the investigation shows that the owners of the account may have been involved in terrorist activity all right guys um, that is the update I quickly wanted to share with you guys i don't know what you have to say but for me at this point in time i i will quickly say that i give up okay uh, i give up in a country of about 200 million people all right 200 million people a country that um claim to be practicing democracy i mean how does now let me let me tell you how it works how they got hold of this 20 account they 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 did what um what i should call a filter all right they will filter the description of people's account now the one that have description you know when you are doing transaction especially mobile transfer there will be a description okay or narration the purpose of that transaction all right so the account that have the description of NSAS. that's how they got who they trace those accounts and believe they have anything to do with NSAS protests. Now, never forgetting the fact that the government itself, all right, had agreed, uh, also said that um, the NSAS protest was peaceful. Yes, that was what they said. The NSAS protest was peaceful, but it was hijacked by hoodlums. Now, how does NSAS protest? or answers description got to do with terrorists or terrorism it's a very big question all right now this is this has nothing to do with terrorism also all right it is just a way of intimidating people because i believe um it is the news that is on the social media that uh the youth will embark on another answers protest something like that so it is a way of intimidating people there is no two ways about it all right these men don't really know what to do i believe you should engage with the youth the same thing uh, un secretary uh, secretary general said to uh, the government when he was a uh, granted interview thing on channels television the government should engage with the youth it is simple why will you be intimidating them the only way you feel you can intimidate them is number one by arresting it doesn't it, it will not solve the problem 
freezing of account, it's not gonna solve the problem or shutting down social media. All right, it's not gonna solve the problem. The 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 one the, the one uh, that really amused me is uh, shutting down of Twitter, social media, and so on in twenty one and a half century. I really don't get it. All right, so the CBN has accused the answers campaigners and supporters of terrorism what can you guys say about this does it really really make sense to you for me it doesn't really make sense at all all right now it only takes cbn within one month to trace account of insights uh, funders campaigners okay but uh, these men uh, boko haram bandits have been terrorizing nigeria for about 10 years and they couldn't trace people that is sponsoring those people, uh, the Boko Haram. Now, we got news uh, day before yesterday that the uh, United Arab Emirates okay, have sentenced uh, six Nigerians. I think two. They sentenced two to death and other for, is it 10, 10 years in prison for funding uh, Boko Haram. All right? They trace the funders. They got the fund. And... Nigerians couldn't do the same thing. How did uh, United Arab Emirates trace Boko Haram funders? How did they do that? But the CBN could not for 10 years trace the funders of Boko Haram. Does it really make sense? You couldn't trace, but the peaceful answers protesters, uh, you, you, you are able to trace it within just a period of a few weeks. And now you are labeling them as a terrorist activity. Or terrorist funding does it make sense to anybody it doesn't really make sense all right it doesn't really make sense I I don't know what to say at this point in time it is so pathetic that um, uh, a country giant personally I cannot boast uh, I cannot boast of Nigeria being a giant of Africa never we, I, with all what is going on, nobody can boast of Nigeria being a giant of Africa anymore. Nobody. All right. So that is the update I have to share with you guys this morning. So let me know what you think on the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, it is actually free. Turn on your bell notification so you get updated whenever we publish a new video for you guys. All right. See you guys in another video.